So Nico, start at the beginning when Garrett goes down. What what goes through your head? Are there nerves? What what happens immediately? Yeah, the uh, the, the backup quarterback position is the most interesting and I think uh, challenging positions in all of sports because you prep just like you're the starter all week, at, uh, you know, every every rep, and uh, you may not do anything for for three and a half hours, but that's that's the that's the job, that's the role I play. And then, um, you know, the, in the rare occurrences like tonight, um, you know, my number was called, and you know, uh, just just getting the ball to the to the guys who are faster than me and the better athletes, and just letting them get get in space and uh, just just managing the game. I think. Uh, that's become one of my skill sets is, is just getting in there and, and uh, you know, being consistent, um, being disciplined. You know, that's one of the, the pillars of our, of our offense, of our team is just playing disciplined, clean football. Um, you know, not too many penalties tonight. Um, and, and I think uh, similar to the uh, Oklahoma State game where you just go in there and just manage the game and, and uh, get out of there with a victory. So I'm happy that we can come out on top. How similar was this to Oklahoma State last year? You know, not much. Um, <laughs> Just from the the portion of Garrett going down and me going in, um, that's about it. Because you know, obviously, this is uh, I've become uh, pretty accustomed to the the rivalry here and, and understand it pretty well. I think, and um, yeah, I, it means a lot to pe to people around here. And it's such an honor to to be able to go out there and, and win that one for the state of West Virginia. Because um, you know, they 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 came out and supported four quarters and and um, had our backs the entire time. So. No, you played high level high school football in two different states. You got your feet wet last year, including or looking at last week as well as Duquesne. Did any of that kind of help you prepare you for, for the task at hand tonight, or did you have to kind of just go out there and take things one snap at a time? Oh, absolutely. I think life is all about experiences, it's about um, repetition, seeing the same thing over and over until you're, um, you're unconsciously competent, where you're not thinking about what you're doing, you're just doing it because it's instinctive. Um, I think that's that's the portion where I, I will continue to get better at the more I get reps throughout the week. Um, you know, being the being the second the second string quarterback, you don't see quite as many reps um, as the starter throughout the week, which is obviously the way it goes. But um, I think I'm a big repetition guy. The more I see things, the more I get comfortable with them. Um, but yeah, life life is all about experiences. Everything from from like you said, from Colorado to Arizona to Oklahoma State, everything helped help me, you know, be confident tonight. What's going through your head on those kneel downs? That's um, <clears throat> a good question. Um, it, you're, that's that's when I really was just looking around and and uh, realizing what what had just been accomplished. You know, we ha not beating them since uh, since 2011. You know, we that's something we talked about all week, and um, it's something you can visualize taking the, the that knee at the very end but to do it um you know myself out there in in real time was um it felt like a dream it was it was awesome to be out there with my with my guys a situation like tonight how helpful is it to have cole taylor on that first completion on that touchdown just somebody to rely on yeah glad you mentioned that he's uh He's one of the key major keys of our offense, of our whole team. Um, you know, being a young quarterback, uh, one of the things you really want to try to do is is get early completions, get, gain some confidence, get um, you know get a little momentum, and uh, it's hard to miss a six seven tight end. So, put it in the vicinity, and, and he goes and makes a play. So, very very grateful to have, have him on the offense, and um, he's played in a lot of big games. So, very experienced, um, was helping me out there. Um, just a very important part of this offense. I think after the fumble, two plays later, the defense kind of has your back, comes down, puts you right in the position to score, and you score. What's that like for them to not only after the fumble just to have your back, but be able to then go complete it for them on the flip side? That's what it's about, man. That's that's complimentary football. You know, that's that's um, offense uh, not getting the job done and defense finding a way. A um, little bit of clutch flat factor there from, from Aubrey Burks. Um, but I, I knew if we were going to get the ball back in the offense's hands, there was no doubt we were going to get in the end zone. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that, was a, that was a mental error, but quarterbacks, especially young quarterbacks, sometimes can struggle with um, dwelling on the past and, and um, you know, remembering the, the negative plays more than the positive ones. So um, I had a lot of help once I came off the sidelines from that play from CJ and, and the coaches and everyone just saying, hey, we're going to get the ball back, you know, calm down, stay in this game. There's a lot of game left. So um, I think we responded really well. Coach Brown mentioned to you at halftime. You guys have a talk at all. You 
Yes, sir. He was um he he was in my ear every every time I would come off the sidelines. Just um again, it's experienced quarterback. Uh, seen a lot of reps. Um, we know we prepped these guys for a very long time now. So um, I was I was talking to him after every single drive. Um, we actually. No, but um, I was talking to him after every single drive and, and just getting on the phone with, with uh, the coaches up top and, and um, as much help as I can get, you know. I'm, I mean, I don't claim to know everything, so it's, it's, anytime someone's willing to, to give me a pointer or tell me something that they see, I'm, I'm, I'm all ears. So it's been a very, very important part to the success tonight of the team, I think, was Garrett because um, he played a little bit of both of, the, uh, of, a, of a coach to me where he was, you know, hey, look for this, see this, and um, calming me down, you know, when things didn't go our way, like the fumble, for instance. Right down in reps the, between the first team, second team quarterback that you get during the week. So when that comes into a game where you come in, have you repped everything in the game plan just fewer times, or are there a couple of things might get kind of ruled out a little bit? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Um, I think, just like you said, we, we have the same similar packages and, and stuff we do, but two uh, very different quarterbacks with different skill sets. So I think that's what makes us so dangerous. You know, um, it's, it's unique to prep for a, a lefty quarterback. Um, I think defenses have to, con, you know, consider that every week. Um, yeah, we, we uh, I, I see all of the game plan reps and then it, it tends to be, you know, some, some extra stuff for, for lefties rolling out left, quarterback runs, stuff like that. So hope that answers that. Oh man, I, I think that is the definition of, of grit and determination getting the job done. Um, over 160 yards between them. I mean, that's that that's ground and pound. We we said all week that is sorry um, that the game is going to be one in the trenches. It's going to be one up front. Um, I put our five against anyone in the country, and uh, when you got a guy like C.J. Donaldson in the backfield and Jalen Anderson. Just give them the ball and go let them go let them be special. So they were one of the key factors to this win tonight. Absolutely.